All right, guys. Um, welcome, everyone. My name is Janelle. Um, we have our other panel members here. We have Rachel. Say hi. Hi. Dorada. Say hi. hi. And Jen. Hi. Hi, hi. hi. Um, our other panel member, Janine, is recording your questions offline. Uh, we have prepared many questions for our special guest. Yay, Chad Michael Collins, <laughs> um, with additional questions from several of you. Um, we're going to have a Q&A at the end of the session um, for all your Young Living queries. Um, please send through your questions as you think of them, and then Janine will be um, recording them for the end. Um, we'd like to say thank you, obviously, for Chad joining us. Um, and of course, thank you for all of you sending in your questions beforehand. Um, it's exciting to hear everybody, you know, we're all so excited to be here and, and meet Chad right now. And um, he's such a wonderful ambassador for fitness, confidence, wellness, and then of course, Young Living Oils. Um, Chad is a talented American actor. We all know that. Um, best known for his, <laughs> don't be shy, Chad. Um, best known for his roles as uh, Brandon Beckett in the Sni Sony Sniper franchise, and then also from the legendary gaming franchise, which we all know, Call of Duty. Um, and then he, of course, plays Alex, Echo 31, right? Did I get that right? I'm not a gamer, so hopefully you I did. got that right. <laughs> you, gotta, you have um, to check in with your nephews. Or I should probably check in with my nephews because <laughs> I know they know that. Um, but yeah, he has a diverse resume, ranking up quite a few movie titles as well. Um, Once Upon a Time, he played on MacGyver, Extinct, Company of Heroes, High Moon. Um, the list goes on and on. So thank you for being here, Chad. We appreciate your early morning rise to come and join our humble little group of people that just want to talk to you <laughs> well it's a pleasure to be here and it's it is early for me um it's not that early for most functional grown adults so <laughs> it was actually nice to, to get up at a normal hour uh for this and, and thank you all for putting this together awesome Awesome. All right. So um, we have quite a few people from time zones all over the place that are just eagerly awaiting all these responses. So we'll get started, I guess. Um, so first question, list three things you do or have daily that you cannot live without. Obviously, we all know coffee is one of the big things <laughs> for you. Um, I know you got me started on a special kind of coffee, um, but um, so that's not an option. So three other things. Uh, three things that I use, do every day. Um, I would start every morning, uh, every day with um, just some quiet time. And that's usually, you know, gratitude writing. You know, I, I, I like to write a lot, uh, just kind of laying out my day, setting my intentions finding things to kind of appreciate about yesterday or the week or um, things to look forward to in that day. That is a, a, a huge habit of mine that really, really helps kind of set up my, my day in a really good feeling place. Um, so that's, that's a big one. Um, I mean, look, I like coffee. I would like to think I can live without it, but I'm also not willing to really test the theory, you know, anytime soon. <laughs> so we, we will let that one slide. Uh, <laughs> um, number two, books i'm a huge bookworm i'm a big book nerd um everything from fantasy novels to comic books to self-improvement self-help books uh i am reading a lot of dungeons and dragons manuals right now because i've been playing <laughs> that a lot lately uh so that occupies a lot of my time but I, I love to read and i and i'm always reading anything i can ever get my hands on and third would be music yeah I think, um you know, as as our friend Jen here knows, and, and the rest of you probably know by now, I'm a rock and roll guy. So um, music when I work out, you know, music in the morning when I when I'm getting ready, hopping in the shower. You know, today was a nice little mix of uh, some Guns N' Roses, Aerosmith, and ACDC. Yes. So, <laughs> rock music in particular just 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 gets me going. So I'll go with those three things. Awesome. Uh, when and how did you get started with Young Living Oils? Uh, that is all thanks to Janelle. Janelle has been using uh, Young Living Essential Oils and their products for years. And so she, uh, by the way, backstory, Janelle is, is married to my brother, Kevin. Uh, so I've had the pleasure of knowing Janelle for many, many, many years. And she's got a wonderful, beautiful family. And 
her discovery of essential oils introduced them to our family, my parents, um, myself. So I had been using them for for years, and it's just something that I'll probably continue to use for the, the rest of my life. Good stuff. What? We get to be family. How cool is that? <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> so what are your three favorite types of exercise? We know you love sports. Um, so what about the gym, cycling, or martial arts? Uh, three favorite types of exercise. I do like to go to the gym. It's, um, it's really fun to push and pull heavy things once in a while. Just kind of see what this old meat suit is capable of. Um, so I do like to do that, you know, a couple times a week. And I play a lot of, uh, basketball and I have, I mean, I've been playing basketball since I was, you know, in middle school, like seventh grade, eighth grade, whatever. And I still play in two competitive, you know, men's leagues out here in LA. And I have, I've never stopped playing basketball. Um, so that is a big one for me. I'm not, I'm not a big runner. Like I don't, I don't jog. I, I, I find that stuff really tedious and boring. So I like to get my running in and wind sprint version, running up and down basketball courts. Um, so the time flies like that. And, you know, I love to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I love to, I love to hike, you know, LA's, it's, it's got a great, it's a great mm -hmm. city for um, getting out into nature, whether it's just outside the city or in the city itself, you know, Griffith Park is a wonderful place uh, right by Dodger Stadium here. It's got a million trails. And I, I, I just love to get out there and be in nature and, and, and you know, charge up some hills and mountains and stuff like that. I find that that's one of my, my favorite kind of um, workout activities out, out here. Oh, that sounds amazing, yeah. Right, so I've got a question from Monica here, which is very <laughs> similar to the one uh, you've just answered. Um, so we all know that you are um, following a paleo diet. She wanted to know if, um, as you're very active and fit, we all know it. Was that always the case? Uh, paleo diet. Yes. I, in my, um, <clears throat> excuse me, mid to late twenties, um, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty typical of anyone who works and plays probably too hard for many, many years in a row. I, I started to have some health issues. I started to, to have some, some challenges there. And so I kind of went on a, a, a quest to, discover kind of more diet and lifestyle things that were, you know, going to alleviate those symptoms and, and to help fix the, the, the problems that I had probably, you know, recklessly caused. So um, I tried everything. I tried veganism, um, vegetarianism. I tried all sorts of cleanses and flushes and, and anything that was out there that was kind of natural, natural and holistic, I was open to trying it. And I did. And then the book, The Paleo Diet came out in 2007. And this was the one that worked for me. And so I would say that I am probably 95% paleo almost every single day. Um, really, it's, um, and for those of you who don't know, it's, it's um, some meat, mostly vegetables, you know, little fruit, nuts, seeds, you know, kind of the things that your caveman ancestors would, would find and subsist on, on. And I just find that that's always been the one thing that has worked, you know, for me in that regards. And, you know, back then it wasn't nearly as cool as it is now, but I was, I was an early adopter of, of the book when it first came out. And now it's, it's amazing how you can go to almost any grocery store and find, you know, paleo alternative products, you know, for the cookies, the crackers, the chips, all the snacks people would like to have, you can you can kind of go paleo with it, and yep. you can uh, treat your little body a little bit better by by doing that. So that's the one that works for me. Yeah. Yeah, you're actually the one who got us started with the paleo diet. So thank you for that because it's been very instrumental in our health journey as well. So um, obviously, diet is always one of those things that's different for everyone, but. Um, we've found success with it. So that's great. But next question, um, what types, if any, of supplements do you use? And obviously, do you take them daily? Yeah, I, I really like to get my, you know, nutrition from real food. And yep. that includes a lot of uh, juicing, you know, I juice celery every day, almost every day, um, you know, green sort of fruit smoothies and stuff like that. Um, I think that's the best way to get you know, the, 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 the vitamins and the minerals and everything that you need. But I, yeah. I do take a little, you know, extra 
zinc on the side. I have a really great uh, probiotic that I take. Yeah. Um, uh, what else? Uh, once in a while, you know, some fish oil, you know, some yeah. really high end quality omega three fish oil. Um, you know, magnesium is a big one um, mm -hmm. just because anybody who works out, who sweats a lot um, and is, you know, has to have recovery. Magnesium is yeah. really great at keeping things open and flushed and everything else. And, you know, Young Living makes a great supplement that I take every day called Sulfurzyme, which yeah. is, you know, as you get up there in the years, you know, you got to take care of those joints and connective tissues. So yeah. I take, um, you know, sulfur, Sulfurzyme by Young Living uh, nearly every day as well. Yeah. It's a great one. Thank you. Uh, how do you incorporate Young Living oils into your fitness regimen? Young, uh, young Living oils are are great. I find for you know the recovery aspect. Um, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I get sore, um, so and I like to push it. You know, I really like to to work out and, like I said before, see what this this body is capable of. So I will wake up very sore. <laughs> so it's. The Young Living stuff that I, I use on the fitness end, uh, everything from your peppermint oil to your pan away, um, you know, the blends that really help get the blood flowing and, and, and getting that recovery process going. You know, there's a great, I actually, I love this. Um, I put myself through a home workout yesterday where I've, I've been sore for the last two days. And so this has been a really great one. If people can see cool azul yeah so if you've ever yeah. used like tiger balm or like ben gay or that sort of stuff this is a really fantastic like plant-based um, um type of product like that so i'm a big fan of that one as well and i also you know i know um young living is is has a whole line of cbd oil products too mm -hmm. which is really great so i just picked up um, one of these, which is like CBD yes. calm. Oh yeah. And I'm really eager to start experimenting with this and seeing if that helps just with like a deeper sleep, you know, sleep mm -hmm. and recovery go hand in hand. Yep. So I'm really, really excited to uh, see what kind of coma I fall into, you know, by putting that on <laughs> at, the, at, at the end of a long day. So those are the, those are the big ones for, for me. Yeah. Great. Right. Yeah. Um, now, this is an interesting question from Alison, because we just spoke about, you know, your paleo diet. And uh, so she was asking, do you have any guilty pleasure, pleasures when it comes to food? <laughs> uh, you said 95%. So is there a 5% going on there? Uh, look, at, look at you throwing the numbers back in my face. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. No, I, I, I'm pretty strict with paleo. And like I was saying before, there's so many great paleo products out there that you know, I don't feel like I have to cheat ever, you know, they, Janelle is a big fan and turned me on to a company called Simple Mills and they make almond flour, coconut flour based stuff. So like, if I want to get down with a box of cookies, like I can go get a paleo <laughs> version of that. I don't do it often. Um, I've, seen, but, I've seen you get down with a box uh, of cookies. <laughs> That's the point. Yeah, she's blowing up my spot. I'm right. sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fair game. Um, I would say like the five, you know, the 5% kicks in when I go in for like, um, you know, once in a while I like to have a really nice fancy Belgian ale and then <laughs> have a beer. And you know, I haven't even had a slice of bread and I can't even tell you when, but I will have a real fancy beer once in a while. Um, so that's, yeah, that's, I, I love steak. And I know it sounds weird, but if, if I could get just a really great rare prepared steak, I'm pretty, oh, yeah. that almost feels like a cheap meal to yep. me you know i like to it's treat so myself with a nice fancy grass-fed steak once in a while so yep. outside of that it doesn't get it doesn't get much more exotic than, yep. than that for me these days i've never seen you eat a piece of bread ever never in all the years i've been <laughs> not once i don't know He's how good. Good. i don't know how he does it like i don't know <laughs> yep. yeah that's awesome you know, it's, it, there's a saying uh, and excuse my French, but there's a saying in like the self-improvement world, 99% is a bitch, which means I'll eat the whole box of cookies if it's there. So it's best to have 100% no cookies around. Yep. So it's kind of like, you know, kind of committing to that idea that if like, if it's around, you're probably going to take a, take a bite out of it. So I don't know, pizza, yeah. ice cream, you know, I don't do dairy. I don't do grains. I don't do any of this stuff. So that basically takes a lot of the fun things right off the table for, <laughs> yeah. for me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It just, 
I found in my experience that it just, it, it, it didn't become worth it, you know, yeah. and it's, it's 30 seconds of heaven. And then it's possibly up to eight hours or, or days of just not feeling well. And I yeah. just, you know, I, I was totally down to, yeah. you know, roll with the punches and the repercussions back in the day when I was a younger buck, but now it's just it, feeling good is more important yeah. to me. So it's just not worth it to, um, to dip back into the candy jar, so to speak. I've never seen anyone with more willpower than you. Yeah. I, seriously, it's amazing. It's mind blowing when we're together. I'm like, how is he not eating this pizza? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have fond memories of uh, all, all the pizza I got down with back in the day. So that's, yep. you know, you know, I, I've learned to like let the smell triggers. You know, I, I learned vicariously through the smell of other people eating pizza. They, <laughs> good enough. It's good, good enough. enough. <laughs> awesome. So you've mentioned that uh, you're using a young living oils for uh, for the recovery, but do you use any oils in your diet? Any any supplement, any oils which you can add to to your meals? Yes, I like to wake up every morning with a glass of lemon water. You know, sometimes that's water with a drop of of um, young young living. You know, lemon essential oil in it. Um, you know, peppermint is really, really nice as well. I know um, I've used, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, Digiz, Digiz. Yeah, um, the Digiz. yeah there's, a, there's yep. a really great um, Young Living Oil blend that helps with digestion. I really like to use that. Um, I don't use Young Living on the foods, you know, so much, but I, I love the topical stuff. I really love to, like right now I am coated in Valor, which is an awesome blend. Same here. It's, it's it's got it's phenomenal, and I I love this this blend. <laughs> this is for those uh, you know watching at home. It's just uh, it's it's like my favorite. You know, I, it is I, the best. I don't even use colognes anymore because yeah. why not put something plant based on me, get the benefits yeah. of the plants, and you know no chemicals. So I really yeah. that's the stuff where I I really love that. Um, you know, and I, and, and topically is, is kind of my favorite way to, to go with this stuff. Um, I use, you know, throw a little frankincense on, mm -hmm. on my face at night when I shower before bed, because, you know, if it's good enough for Cleopatra and the three wise men, it's, it's certainly good enough for me. Yeah. So <laughs> that's topically is how I, I really love to use, you know, the young living stuff. And I, and I use them that way all day, every day. Awesome. Now, obviously we're talking about young living products. Um, just in your opinion, like, why do you think they work so well? Um, you know, like I was saying before, I, I, I try to, to get as much as my health, nutrition, the, the beneficial stuff from plants. I just think, plant, I mean, plants are, are, you know, little, little miracle beings. And I love that Young Living takes plants times a thousand and puts them in a little convenient bottle for you. Yeah. And I think that, that that is anytime you can strip away chemicals, synthetics, um, things like that, you know, there's, um, there's a saying kind of in the, in the natural health world, you know, where it's, it, it, it's along the lines of, um, sometimes the best thing you can do for your health is to take stuff out of the picture, take it mm. out of the way, you know, put down that, stop buying that, don't use these things, you know, yeah. more than, more than it's about, you know, you've got to use this, you got to take this every yeah. day. Sometimes if you just eliminate you yep. know, the things that can do you harm, like you're well on your way to yep. living a healthier life. So, yep. you know, in terms of the young living stuff, it's that applies to me across the board. You know, I, yep. I lose everything from the dish soap to the laundry detergent to the household cleaner. You know, I don't have anything that you would get off the shelf at a big box store or retail store at all. Um, yep. You know, the stuff for bath and body, you know, shampoos, lotions, soaps, that sort of thing, facial scrubs. You know, I use all that sort of stuff too because it's it's taking chemicals out of the equation, it's taking synthetics yeah. out of the equation, stuff that really does you a lot of harm and collects in your system. And I just think that um, you know, if you can get anything plant based, you know, you should do it because it just okay. you know we, we take for granted how much bad stuff and junk are in everyday products yeah. that we that we use. So yeah, that's kind of my philosophy with it, and that's why I love these products so much. Absolutely, thank you. My next question is from Natalie. I love this question because it made me giggle. <laughs> Way to go, Natalie. <laughs> we know you must work out every day, um, <laughs> but do you work out before any additions? Um, Natalie, I can't work out every day. Um, 
I get, like I said, I get too sore. Uh, <laughs> the thing with auditions is, is I work out my mind um, for auditions. I feel like, you know, let's just say I'm going to go audition for some kind of action movie or some kind of role where it would require, you know, someone to be really, you know, more fit and athletic. Um, if I haven't already done my work on that well in advance, you know, I'm not going to fool you in the room <laughs> reading in front of you. I'm either, you know, I've put the work in or I haven't at that point. So I don't do much in, in terms of working out, you know, just before an audition. Um, uh, so I, I focus on the mental work. You know, I try to come from a place of gratitude, really appreciating um, the people who put this awesome opportunity to, to together to go and do what I love to do, which is act, you know, the writer, the producer, the director, yeah. the studios, everybody who lined up this opportunity to, for me to go and do what I love to do for them. So uh, I'm a really big fan of, um, you know, there's a, there's a really great oil bun. I think I have some uh, There's stress away. There's peace and calming. Um, I'll give you a little actor secret uh, in terms of young living is there's a great blend called finance. And so when I am like rocking into an audition, um, I like to get, I like to get the finance going quite honestly, just because, you know, we're, we're not in this to do this for free. You know, we all want to get paid doing what we love to do. So it's more of a mental preparation. It's more about finding gratitude. It's more about kind of throwing some love out there and, um, and, and letting it kind of come back to you. So it's less physical and probably more mental, spiritual in that way. Yeah. Makes sense. Absolutely. So I have, it's kind of like two questions really, um, from Natalia. Is that her name, Natalia? Yeah. Okay. And um, it is, where did I put it? <laughs> <laughs> what is your raging before auditions and do you dig talks? Uh, could you repeat the first part of that? I didn't hear it. It must be my accent. What is your regime? Before... Oh, regime. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> before auditions. <laughs> and do you detox? Um, I don't really do much on the detox end. I, I, I've always been kind of an intermittent fasting guy. So uh, for those that don't know, that's basically not having any solid food for anywhere from 12 to 14 to 16 hours uh, a day. So go to bed, you know, wake up and just kind of push your first meal until lunch or later. So that's, mm -hmm. that's something I find uh, that works extremely well for me and, and has an, uh, a million health benefits uh, to it as well. Yes. Um, you know, my regime for the audition is, um, you know, like the really great products I showed you just previously. It's like, I, you know, I, the morning of an audition, let's say I will take a little extra 15 minutes, meditate. Uh, I really like to, I have a diffuser right by my bed. Um, I like to diffuse a blend called Awaken. Um, there is again, the, the, the peace and calming, the stress away, that sort of stuff that really just, it smells fantastic. A, but like just allows you to kind of relax and focus a little bit. Um, that is kind of the, I find the best prep work. Obviously it helps if you know your lines. So I put that work <laughs> in in advance, you know, as well, but like on the day, that is kind of the, the way that I like to start and go about it and, uh, and everything else. But um, I don't really detox. I experimented with a lot of detox stuff back in the day. Um, you know, like I said, all the cleanses and the flushes and the whatever else. And I feel like um, those could have been effective. But, you know, I was in a really big trial and error phase for a while. And I just find that the consistent mm -hmm. paleo diet, the consistent um, uh, intermittent fasting on a daily basis, and you know, using really great products like Young Living and, and other supplements like that, that kind of keeps me uh, right as rain. I've got a question from Alison and Scarlett. Um, they would like to know how you remain so focused, focused and motivated now, especially during the lockdown. Do you do any workouts during lockdown or you sort of, no, I'm not doing anything. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will be honest, I, I have not worked out as much um, just because I don't have a home gym built out here. So I, I, I do put together, you know, some prison workouts uh, <laughs> indoors quite a bit. Um, I'm trying to get better and, and, and do them more often. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, in terms of the motivation, I really love, I mean, look, 
there's no acting work, you know, right now. And that's been the case for a few months now. So it's, it's, it's actually been a really, it's been a blessing. You know, I, I yeah. have time to talk with you all and to answer these questions and to, you know, share about something that I love so much and that has really benefited me in my life. So I, you know, I stay busy with other things. You know, I mentioned that I'm playing a lot of Dungeons and Dragons, which has been phenomenal, you know, for me, I've always been a nerd. So, you know, really immersing myself with friends in like a fantasy world, you know, uh, several nights a week has been fantastic. I've been able to, you know, play my Call of Duty game a lot more. And I've been able to play with with players and fans of the games, you know, on Twitch and live stream that stuff. I, you know, I, it would be really hard to find that time if I didn't have that right now. So that's th those things keep my, you know, my juices flowing and mm -hmm. keep me really, really excited about, you know, what I do in, in life in general. So it's, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's funny because I'm, I am eating way less in quarantine. Like I'm lucky to have like one actual meal a day just because I'm kind of a sloth. Like I just don't move around as much. So I just don't <laughs> need the calories. This is where I'm going wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good. I know it's pretty tempting to just raid the cupboards all day, every day while you're stuck. Yes. At home, but uh, I don't have anything fun in my cupboards. So if I want anything fun, I got to go out and get it, which is, uh. you know, kind of a pain in the butt so it just yeah. that's kind of um that's how i've yeah. been surviving through through quarantine yeah it's nice to hear that you're feeling that it's a blessing as well because i know it kind of goes both ways but you know just having that mental stability and just you know being confident that this is a blessing and it's just taking the time to enjoy and that's good for mental health <laughs> yeah yeah um so i have another uh young living question here um what have you loved most about building a business with Young Living? Because there's two options. You don't always have to build a business, but it is available for people as well. So what have you loved about it? Here's what I love about Young Living is that, and I'm looking at y'all, it's community. It's it's <laughs> fantastic. You know, it, I'm, I mean, Rachel in the UK, Dorota <laughs> in the UK, Jen up in Canada, uh, Janine who helped put this together is down in Australia. Obviously, Janelle, you know, we're on opposite coasts yeah. and we get to stay connected in that way. And I think it's phenomenal. And yeah. the way that Young Living is set up, and I think I think the best company in the world um, have this philosophy where if you do well, I do well and vice yeah. versa. And there's a support system there and everyone has a vested interest and it's coming from a place of really you know, loving a product or a service. And, and if you're going to use it anyway, which I do and have been for years, you know, why wouldn't you, you know, flip a switch and, and perhaps explore, you know, making some money or, or getting yeah. compensated for it. And I think that's phenomenal. You know, and I, I will give the example of, you know, I'm an actor and <clears throat> when I'm lucky enough to, to get a role, whether it's a sniper movie or something on like NCIS uh, to go off and shoot it, obviously I have an actor's salary, right? But once I shoot that episode, once I shoot that movie, it will air and it'll air and it'll air and it'll air and it'll around the world um, on, on cable on reruns, whatever, what have you. And for actors, you know, there's a residual structure in place. There's a royalty structure in place right. where, you know, it's just that philosophy that the, the, the rich have, you know, the rich keep getting richer because they make money while they sleep. And I think that that is an amazing thing to be able to do something that you love yeah. And the money then also shows up in really surprising, unexpected ways. And I, I, I love that about Young Living. Um, wouldn't it be nice to go to Target or shop on Amazon? And they're just like, hey, also, here's a check. You yeah. know, it's just like you spent a lot of money with us. So we yeah. want to reward you. You know, it's just, yeah. it doesn't work that way. And I, I just love how Young Living works that way. And, and the yeah. community is amazing. You know, I have a question about something. I know I can go to Janelle, you know, and I know that she knows she uses these things for her family. Like if she, if there's a health concern, if there's a challenge, if, you know, if there's allergens in the air, it's like, Janelle, what do you got? You know, <laughs> lift this, what is it? Um, so I, I love that people are really, really knowledgeable and it just brings people together. I love it. I, yeah. just, I love the community experience uh, that, that, that Young Living has kind of set up for people to explore. And again, you're right. It's not for everyone, they may not want to pursue it as yeah. a business, but my philosophy was, you know, if I can be surrounded by friends and I'm using these products anyway, yeah. um, I might as well get the products for free. I mean, why not? Like, it's just pretty fantastic the way that it's yeah. set up. And I've, 
I've always thought that that's just a really, really great system for, for any, any business. Absolutely. Absolutely. Who's next? Who's you didn't next? run out of questions already, did you? Nope. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> Is it me? I don't know. <laughs> Probably it's me. <laughs> I've been written down a list. I can go wait for another go half go. hour. <laughs> uh, Bita would like to know if the right roll came along, would you consider to put weight on? Like uh, on those cookies, ice cream. What kind of weight? Um, <laughs> I can't think of it. It is a good question. I can't think of any any role that would even remotely interest me if they were like, yo, put on 40 pounds of of not healthy fat. And I've just I don't I'm I'm not one of those actors. I you know I got into acting because I wanted to have fun. And yeah. fun for me is action roles, it's comic book stuff, superhero stuff, fantasy stuff, sci-fi stuff. Um, you know, it's not, you know, transforming into you know, some historical figure like Winston Churchill, you know, with that, that would weigh 60 more pounds than me. It's not, I, I have all the credit in the world to Christian Bale and those people that go through amazing transformations for those kind of roles. I'm not interested in that. Um, however, <laughs> if you did want to give me the Chris Hemsworth, you know, Thor superhero treatment yeah. and give me, you know, six months to train and put on that kind of weight and pay for it, I'm down. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll put on my hat in the ring on, on that version of things. So uh, yeah. until that happens, um, I'll just I'll just keep it the way it is. <clears throat> now I've got a question from Natalia, but um, it's quite similar to the ones that was earlier. So <laughs> you may want to just add another thing to it. Okay. So we know you exercise every day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. do, do yes. you work out before any auditions now you've basically answered what you already do so feel free right. to say whatever you want just right now <laughs> I, I yeah I'll, like, I'll just expand on what I shared earlier you know it's, okay. I, I I like being athletic I like fitness I I just I love having an active lifestyle I always have and my philosophy is if action movies, if that sort of fun stuff is, is what I want to do as an actor, it's on me to, you know, maintain that, that appearance, maintain, you know, being in shape, you know, maintain that physique. So, you know, I like to kind of have this lifestyle where I know that I'm never one or two, more than one or two days away from being like, I'm on set and looking the part you know what i mean so I, I that i always kind of have that you know and it's not to say that you can't have a weekend where maybe you had too many drinks at a birthday party and you kind of feel oh boy um and 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 whatever but i i just like to be you know one or two days away from the best shape that i feel like i could be in and just always bring that to the table you know because yeah. you know, sometimes you get as an actor you get very little notice and mm -hmm. you can get a plane the same day so my thing is, is if, if that's the way I want to represent myself and those are the roles I want to do, I, I'm just always going to stay prepared and be ready, you know, along those lines. So like I said before, if, if you're waiting for the audition, you know, just before the audition to try and get in shape for a role, <laughs> it's probably a little bit too late. <laughs> awesome. You often mentioned that um, um, the Sony sniper reloaded was like the instigator um, sort of in your career when you moved to a full-time um, full mm. acting. So what impact personally um, and career-wise it had it on you? Yes, yeah, so I have been really, really fortunate to do uh, the lead role in a military action franchise called Sniper for Sony Pictures. And in 2010, I believe, I was given the opportunity to uh, originate a new character, uh, Brandon Beckett, in this uh, reboot of the franchise. You know, there were three movies that came before in the 90s, uh, and then they kind of shelved the franchise, they rebooted it, and they brought me on to basically be the son of Tom Berger, who was the original star of the franchise. And that was the movie that kind of changed everything for me. You know, up to that point, I had probably eight years of a career doing public relations in the entertainment industry. I was a journalism major in college. I wasn't a drama, <laughs> drama student. So I had been working in the entertainment industry on that. And I've been like dipping my toe in the acting and really just seeing if this was for me and trying it on for size and just learning. But when this opportunity came along, 
um i was flown to south africa like i i <laughs> i was surrounded by the most amazing nature we shot basically on an animal preserve outside of johannesburg um for for the better part of a month it was a completely life-changing experience not just as an actor um you know getting to work with billy zane like man i grew up with billy zane this is incredible so <laughs> You know, but then also waking up and, and seeing the sunrise and there's giraffes just hanging around oh, and stuff like yeah. that. So it's hard not to have your life changed after an experience like that. It was also my biggest acting opportunity. It was my, my um, you know, the, 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 of course, with a bigger role and bigger responsibility came a little bit more money than I'd, I'd seen before. So everything about it um, just made the light bulb go off. And I just, I knew that if I, from that point on, if I didn't just pursue acting to its fullest end, I would always have a life regret. And who wants to live life with regrets, right? Yeah, no way. No regrets. Um, so your latest releases are, of course, Call of Duty. And then we also have your new movie with Sony Sniper franchise coming out. Um, obviously, these things keep you very busy. So how do you manage to schedule everything and just make it all work, I guess? You know, it's... And a lot of actors still struggle with this. You know, you run your own business and yeah. a lot of actors come in from a purely creative perspective and it's all about the work and it's all about, you know, the process and this and that, and whatever, but you are your own business, you know, and that is a philosophy that I have always had, you know, I've always treated it like, um, I don't have anyone else, you know, I, I like, yeah. I don't have a team and I, have kind of treated it very, very seriously. And you have to, you got to stay organized. You have to, uh, like Google Calendar is my best friend. <laughs> and that's, I got to put it down on a schedule. Like I just have to, or otherwise I'm just going to get too sidetracked. Because, you, yep. you know, as an actor, you manage a lot of things. You know, you're, yep. you're, you know, you've got to find time to go to the gym and work out and stay fit. You've got to eat well. You have yep. to do these things, you know, if you have interviews to do or, um, something coming out that you need to promote, you know, you need to be in charge of your schedule. And, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, hey, it's seven o'clock at night. Here's an audition for 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now you have to be flexible enough to move things around, rearrange your entire day to make that a priority. Yeah. So uh, organization, you know, time management skill, this sort of stuff is, uh, is so key, you know, for anybody that runs their own business. I know yeah. many of you here, you know, are running successful young living businesses yourself and um you know what it's like you know yeah. no one is, is is you don't have a boss you're not clocking in nine to five and just basically saying you got to get this stuff done by the end of the day it's it's got to be inspiration right it's got to yeah. be because you yeah. love it self-motivation <laughs> yeah if you, if you don't love it it's hard you yeah. know you're late you're not showing up for the things you're not yeah. taking care of yourself so yeah. uh, for me it's easy i love what i do and um I, I make the time for the things that are important to me and, and my career. So um, there's definitely some days where you feel a little bit overwhelmed because there's a million directions you can go. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I love it. You know, I spent 12 years in an office. Um, that lifestyle is just not for me. I'll take the, the variety and the, the, the change and the difference of a day-to-day -day acting career over the nine to seven grind any day. Yeah, absolutely. Now, do you have any information for us on release dates or anything coming up with all your fun stuff that you have going on? Yeah, so I, I it's been a lot of fun, like I said, um, you know, with the quarantine, with the lockdown to really play a lot more Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, yeah. I was just playing with uh, some of your nephews just the other yeah. night, actually, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> It's been actually really fun to connect with people around the world through a video yeah. game, which just blows my mind. It's not the kind of video game I grew up with. <laughs> you couldn't throw on headsets and 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 talk to a, a young man in, in the UK or yeah. somewhere else like you can now, which I think is phenomenal. But um, so that's still going strong. You know, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. They're they're pushing out what's called season three of like yeah. multiplayer. I'm sure your nephews can tell you all about it. Yep, they tell uh, me. Sure they love it. A bit to to get it going. Um, but season three featured my character, Alex Echo 3 1. Um, they revealed a big surprise that he wasn't, you know, dead. He wasn't killed in the uh, the heroic sacrifice he made in the single player campaign. So that was been, it's yeah. been a, it was a lot of fun to ride that wave. But now we're on to Sniper Assassin's End. And this is our eighth installment in the Sniper franchise for Sony. 
uh, fifth one that I've been a part of, and that comes out June sixteenth. And Yay. yeah, we're really really excited for this one. I actually just I just watched the screener of it, and um, I think audiences are really gonna like this. It's it 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 gives a lot of throwbacks to the old, but it also yeah. brings you a lot of really cool new stuff. Especially the fighting stuff is is pretty pretty well yeah. done. Can't and wait. Yeah, I'm <laughs> so excited. Yay. So I know the answer to this next question, but Sylvania would like to know um, where Assassin's End was filmed. We shot that in Vancouver, British Columbia. Yeah. You're next to the woods, kind of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kind of. Big kind Canada's of, yeah. Big. People forget how big Canada is. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know what, I've never been out west. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And and uh, I've been to Vancouver uh, for filming a couple of times, and including the, the, the sniper movie that we shot there last fall. And I love that city. Like, it's... It's phenomenal. And we shot in the city. We shot around in these beautiful um, areas like Maple Ridge and, and stuff like that. We got to, we got into the forests. Uh, it was just really, really phenomenal. I, I, I love it up there. And, you know, in this movie, you see everything from like those gorgeous modern Vancouver high rises and, and cityscapes. And then you, you know, then we throw you into kind of like this mossy emerald green forest for a lot of stuff. So, you know, they, they, they were awesome about taking full advantage of kind of the majesty that the British Columbia and Vancouver so has cool. to offer. That forest was amazing. <laughs> the yeah. trees were really- my favorite I'd day. love to go out there and see the mountains, <laughs> but we yeah. have friends out east, so I always go east. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I have a, a question. Do you, what do you use uh, to boost your confidence, you know, maybe when you're going to audition or maybe you're, you know, you're going on set for the first time, doing something new for the first time. What do you use to boost your confidence? Um, I feel like confidence is another one of those things like working out, you know, the more you can work on your confidence in advance, the better you're going to be. Yeah. And for me, confidence is just, it's kind of an inside job. You know, I, I am who I am and I know what I want and I know where I want to go and what I, what I want to do with my life. Um, I think if you find that kind of authenticity that, that is uniquely you and you own it, that yeah. just lends to confidence. And, you know, it's, it's nothing can really rock your boat or rattle your chain. If you are cool with who you are, it doesn't matter yeah. what else is not. It doesn't matter when you get told no after an audition, because, you know, you know, you're going to be all right. You know, I'm, I'm cool with who I am. And sometimes that takes work, you know, sometimes it's yeah, really easy to criticize <laughs> yeah, and judge, but you know, the more you can own who you are, you know, that, that unique, beautiful, special snowflake that we all are. We, um, you know, I just find that confidence starts to come with the territory and, and just knowing that like, no matter what, it's going to be okay. You know, things are always, always working out for us in one degree or other. You can always find that the, the things that are going well, you know, you, you wake up in the morning and like, oh, you know, gravity hasn't left us. The sun came up, you know, like my heart beats all on its own. You know, these sort of things, like you, sometimes you just got to keep it simple and find those things to really appreciate. And, um, you know, I find that 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 is a big help for for me, just knowing that you're enough no matter what and, and owning that. And I feel like that lends to confidence you know, without you falling into the trap of arrogance, you know, and, and, and overconfidence and stuff like that. So. so that's sort of a follow up question I've got here. Um, so as you say, the, you, you're a pretty confident person, but there are some people who would like to know if you've got any sort of advice um, for them if they're struggling to like speak in front of other people. Is there anything you can um, you can give them some sort of advice? Ah, like, um, yeah, like public speaking and, and things like that. Um, yeah, that's not comfortable for everyone. And <laughs> I've certainly found my way, you know, th to it and through it, you know, just by showing up and, and doing it. Um, you know, a little, a little actor trick I have is to, let's say I'm going to go into an audition. Um, I've already written down and I've done my gratitude work and I've done my appreciation work on everyone involved, you know, in this television show or or a movie or something like that. I do a little secret thing um, when I walk into a meeting, an audition, or just uh, an encounter, you know, in that way. And I just say, you know, silently to myself, um, I love you, how can I help? And that just kind of sets you from a place of, 
maybe you can call it energetically. I don't know, you know, whatever. I just yes. find that that thought makes me feel good. And it, it's an invitation for them, even subconsciously, you know, however they pick up on it, or maybe they're having a bad day and they don't pick up on it. It doesn't matter. But that, that is a kind of a little trick that I use, you know, when I'm walking into a, a situation old or new, you know, I, I really try to prime myself to see the best in people and the best in the situation and, you know, expect a good outcome. So that, that, that's something that's always worked for me. Yes. We know that Chad has the kindest heart out of <laughs> anyone we know. I mean, I've experienced it my whole life, not my whole life, but since I've known you. So it's pretty amazing to see how kind and just amazing of a human being you are all the time. Well, really, great. it really is. I mean, coming from a place where I actually know Chad, like on a very personal level, what you see is what you get. Oh, so, <laughs> um, but we do have another question. Um, let's see, except I lost my um, spot here. Oh, yes. What is new for Chad Collins? Do we have any new projects coming up that we can talk about? Uh, the most new thing ever is his hair. Um, <laughs> look at this mess. Um, new projects. Not really. I mean, there's 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 not really any new projects because no one's been able to, to make any projects. Uh, I've got some irons in the fire in terms of a, a film. I'm trying to get off the ground in a sci-fi action movie. And we've got a really fun um, kind of werewolf based television project that is getting some 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 pretty important people's eyes and attention on it. So we're very excited to see where that keeps going. Um, so I am trying to step more into producing my own projects as well. I mean, it's one thing to go out there and, and pound the pavement and audition and whatever, whatever, whatever. It's a whole other thing if you can start creating your own stuff and it's the stuff that you really love. And, and you can, of course, give yourself a role in it because you're a producer yeah. and you have that yeah. power. Um, so I have spent a lot of uh, the last you know year, year and a half, you know, putting putting a lot of time into developing some of these really great projects that I'm very excited about and, and totally just speak to me as a, as a person, as a fan, as an actor. Um, but yeah, you know, Call of Duty is still going strong. Hopefully we, we, you know, we get it, we get a sequel to it. You know, it was yeah. the best selling game of last year. It's the best selling game of this year. It's just a juggernaut. It's nuts. Um, awesome. so I hope that we get to, to do more of those. I've got some convention appearances lined up, some comic cons that I'm really excited about, you know, for, for this fall and, um, yeah, new sniper movie. And hopefully we, we keep the sniper train rolling, you know, after this one. And we, we go right into to another one. So those are those are the big ones that I'm looking forward to the industry coming back around and the world returning to to kind of normal a little bit more, but better, of course, and improved as a result of all these storms we've been weathering. And um, and, you know, I'm always excited to see what what project will pop next you know, from, from that arena. Awesome. Uh, do you have any specific hopes or dreams for your future? Hopes and dreams. Um, yeah, you know, I don't really have any sort of, you know, really, really big ones and whatever else. I, you know, I, I, I think that I, I like to have some specific things. I like to have some general things. Um, you know, I want to keep growing as an actor. I want to keep, you know, doing that. I want to, you know, I want to do this right up to the end, you know, to be an actor all the way to the end and, and see what that journey is like. Like, what's it like being you know the young gi joe guy and now you're like well you're kind of in the dad range so now i'm starting <laughs> to play that a little bit more and it's like also maybe some bad guy stuff um you know but as you kind of progress in your age you get to try different things on for size and i'm just really excited about that journey i mean obviously um doing more movies you know doing it doing a television show especially one that i get to produce is, is, a, is a really big dream of mine um you know i love being a part of the the young living community and and growing with you all on that end and just you know it's it's just so wonderful to spread the love and and then to also you know put some extra time and energy and attention to it and and create a business from it i i find that that's been just a really really wonderful you know addition to my life yeah. in that way and i you know, will thank janelle for that um you know i remember about a year ago we had a wonderful conversation about it and i'm just like i'm in it like i yeah. just I, th I think this is fantastic and amazing and and it's cool, you know. I have um, I you can't. It's hard to get anywhere alone, right? You know, I have a team. You know, I've got an I've got agents that look out for TV and film. I have a different agency that looks out for voiceover and video games for me. I've got an appearances manager for conventions and stuff. I've got 
a talent manager. So I have, I have a whole team, you know, that, 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 that's what it takes to kind of help the career go forward to keep thriving. And I just love that about you all, you know, you guys were, we're team, we're family and I, and we're friends. And I think that that's such a, such a fun thing. So, you know, my hopes and dreams are for us all to keep thriving, you know, especially through, through young living and stuff and, and yeah. to keep growing together. Love it. Um, okay, I think we're going to wrap it up now. We are a little over on time, so we want to respect your time, but we um, are very appreciative for this time that you've come and just um, hung out with us and let yeah. us ask you all these fun questions. Um, and obviously, we wish you the best of luck, current ventures, future ventures, everything that you have going on. Um, but before we go, can you remind us real quick how and when we can see Sniper? Because we're so yeah. excited. Uh, <laughs> Happy to Sniper Assassin's End oh, uh, coming out June 16th. Um, I'm so excited. Be, yeah, it's going to be, um, you know, DVD, Blu-ray, digital, you know, Google, iTunes, Amazon. You can get it uh, stream it digitally as well. I believe actually, Jen, in Canada, it's coming out June 9th. Thank you oh, guys. Oh, oh, really? What? Yeah. what? <laughs> I think. Don't get upset with me. If That's I, not I, I fair. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> And and I think uh, for audiences around the world, it'll be it'll be available, you know, to to international markets pretty soon after that. So yeah, well, I pre-ordered yeah. mine. So awesome, awesome. So I did awesome. do that. Yeah, on the Great. yeah my iPhone. So well, we can pre-order it anyway, can we? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Well, we would love to thank you for your time today. We appreciate um, that you've taken the time and opportunity, like I said before, to talk to everyone, um, as well as answering all of our questions and their questions. Um, obviously, it's a pleasure just to have you in our president, president, presence is what I was trying to say. Sorry. Um, and yeah, and just be an ambassador for healthy living, mindfulness, confidence, all that stuff. We know that you have been extremely instrumental in my life. So I'm very appreciative of that and everything that you've done for our family. So um, we're just thankful. Yeah, well, Jimmy just messaged that everybody's well. thanking you. So yeah, everyone yeah. is thanking you. Everybody's thanking you. The, the pleasure yeah. is all mine. And I just, you know, you're all my, you're my friends, you're my business partners, you're so many things. And it's, it's really such a pleasure. If you can, you know, if you can work with people that you love, work is that much more fun it never feels like work right so thank you all for, for having me and and you know let's keep let's keep playing together yeah well let's hope that the rest of the year goes more smoothly i mean 2020 has been wow it's been quite a year so hopefully we can get back to um you know of course you especially hopefully you can get back to acting and doing what you love very soon so um i also do want to just take the time real quick to just thank um, organizers. We have Dorada, Rachel, Jen, and Janine. We're just so thankful for all of you guys just putting this together. So amazing. And of course, all the people that have joined this live stream and have been helping us with input the whole time. Thank you guys for joining us. This has been such a pleasure um, and we're so happy. And thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. Everyone. Thank Bye. you. Bye.